This is the new GoPro Hero 13 Black and I was in Barcelona for the MotoGP testing it out and before I talk to you about what I like and what I didn't like about it so far, let's start with what's new. First up, we have a bigger battery. So it's 10% higher capacity, 1900 million power Enduro battery. That's increased from the previous 1720 million power battery that we had in the Hero 12 Black. With this has longer run times as well, especially in hot and cold uh, environments. You notice it's more when you do 10-bit recording, for example, so you get better runtime compared to the predecessor. Next, we have a magnetic latch that makes it easier to attach and detach and just mount it to anything you want to mount it to on the go. I love that you can simply just pinch it and release it and swap it whenever you need to, which is really good. Add a ball joint mount to this. You can easily just flip it to 180 degrees. So if you want to shoot for Instagram stories, for example, it just makes it so much more easier to do so. Next, we have the new HP series lenses, which is something I'm super excited about. So for example, we have this new ND filter, so it comes in a pack of four. So we have ND4, ND8, ND16, and ND32 neutral density filters. That just makes life easier for things like motion blur. And also when you shoot it in areas or environments when it's super bright, this is basically sunglasses for your GoPro Hero. What's also cool about this though, is every time you attach it, the GoPro Hero itself will read the attachment and tell you when you've attached something that's too much or too low so you can adjust accordingly. I think this is pretty cool. You also get two new MUDs, actually three. One's coming later on. You have the ultra wide lens MUD, which means you have a new one by one aspect ratio. So a lot of more, a lot more flexibility on the go. It expands as your field of view by up to 177 degrees and it still supports things like hyper smooth video stabilization and 360 degrees horizon lock. Then we have the macro lens MUD, which means you can get four times closer uh, to use subjects with a minimum focus distance of around 4.33 inch, so 11 centimeters. With this, you get on screen focus speaking option as well, and you also have a variable focus with built in rotator lens ring. There's also an anamorphic lens mod that's coming later on in 2025. This is the widest field of view that you would get, so you have a new 21 by 9 aspect ratio and also 16 by 9 aspect ratio with it. And you also get in camera B squeeze for this, so it just makes it very easy to quickly edit it and post it on the go. Next we have a new 13x burst slow-mo at 720p so it gives you 400 frames per second so you can go super slow-mo and it just looks fantastic when you shoot the right thing with it. Next is the built-in GPS which means now once you have it on you can overlay graphics on top of your video so you can have things like the speed, the G meter, you can even have the track map and see how you're flowing through the map in real time, which looks fantastic. One thing you also notice on the device is this new pattern on the front here, which means better airflow. So with that, it just means longer run time, it's not gonna get hot very easily. It just means it's more compatible in different environments. There's also a new continuous power mode, which means using the new contacto magnetic door and power cable kit, you can easily just attach this connector to it. It's like magnetic and it's really good. It's waterproof up to 33 feet and it's IPX7 rated as well with the magnetic cable attached. It works with or without battery installed as well. So with this, if you have a battery pack, for example, connected via USB-C, you can just record on and on and on as long as you've got battery life left in your power bank. So, what are the things I love about this new setup? I love that it's got a bigger battery, which means you can record for longer, for example, it's got better airflow as well, so you worry less about this getting hot or not handling the environment that you want to shoot in. I also love that new magnetic latch, which means it gives you more flexibility if you combine that, especially with that board joint uh, mount. Because of that, you can easily just shoot landscape, portrait, whatever you want to do, you can do that. It still has all the things we love about the previous GoPro Hero uh, 12 uh, Black. So in terms of the modes that you can shoot in, the, the video quality, the sensor, it's still 27 megapixel and all that kind of stuff. I also love this new HP series lenses because you can easily just attach and detach it and the, and the camera itself, the GoPro Hero 13 Black will tell you, uh, it will notice that it's been connected. There's also that's this blue thing on there that allows you to know exactly where to point it before you rotate it back onto the camera itself. It's almost like DSLR cameras where before you attach the lenses, it's like this white dot or red dot, depending on which brand, to let you know exactly how to uh, insert it. So it's very straightforward, uh, uh, point in the right place, rotate it, twist it, and it's locked into position. And you can have different filters, you can have ND16 and ND32, etc., which I think is great. It just means sunglasses for your camera on the go when you're shooting, especially in bright light situations. It also helps with action shots. If you want that motion sort of blur in the background, this is great. And because it reads 
what's been attached. The camera will also tell you intelligently, it will tell you, you know, is it too much ND on there or do you need lower ND? It will tell you exactly what you need to put on there to make sure you get the best shots possible. I think that's pretty smart. That then brings me on to the final bit of this video, which is about stuff that I don't like about the new GoPro Hero 13 Black. I actually made some notes here so I don't forget anything, I don't leave anything out. First thing first is the fact that those uh, ND filters, I can't use them alongside my ultra wide uh, mod, for example. So you can only use the ND filter on their own. It would be nice if there was a way to combine all those together so if I'm going to attach that ultra wide angle lens, I want to be able to still use my ND filter as well. Next is that low light performance. I think the low light performance is still lacking a little bit and it would be nice if they can improve that using some sort of newer sensor or just something that makes it a lot better and less noisier when you're using low light situations. Another one is when shooting slow-mo. The process can be a bit longer, which means missed opportunities. So the processing in the camera, when you press it, when you stop it, all that kind of stuff, it's still a bit, it's just a tad, tad bit slow. So it means sometimes I'm missing opportunities where I really want to shoot super slow-mo stuff and the processing just takes too long. Finally is the cost or pricing of those extra filters, the HB series lenses and the mods and stuff. I feel they're quite pricey. So you're already spending more than 300 pounds plus on the camera itself. And then to get this on top, you're spending a bit more as well. So this can get quite costly very quickly just to get those ND filters and stuff like that. So. That's basically those things that I didn't really like so much about the new 13 Black. But otherwise though, I think fantastic products. I love the subtle updates, they haven't done too much to it. They've just introduced things that are actually useful for the creators out there to be able to get the most from their uh, Hero 13 Black. But that's pretty much it for this video. Over to you, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, uh, let me know as well. If you have any questions, uh, drop them below as so I'll do my best to answer your questions. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.